Yes, we have been seeing grown men reduced to tears. This is why Kristen Keo is standing next to me. We sent her out today to talk about, this is serious, the stages of grief and how fans can cope because fans are truly hurting. Yeah, so I talked to a therapist today in Bankers Hill and she said there are five stages of grief. I learned today that I am in denial. Next for me will be <laughs> anger and I might set the shirt on fire because I've already thought about it. You know, I'm sad. I never even got to word to a game, but she says what we're all feeling is about more than just a game. These are very serious emotions. They just left without saying anything. Denial is the first stage of grief. But your dog is Dean, and you tore our heart out. Then anger. The whole community is San Diego. Next is the bargaining stage. Get him out of here. They don't need to be here with two. Stage four is depression. It's like a, losing a family member. Corey Stagey, a licensed therapist at Evolve Psychotherapy in Bankers Hill, does not underestimate the intense emotions these fans feel. You know, the move to L.A. is feeling a lot like it's a loss of who they are and, and, and their identity, which can feel um, similar to, you know, losing someone close to us. We even watched County Supervisor Ron Roberts no, tear up. I hate this day. Um, so when something like this happens, people feel out of control, and that's not always a good feeling. It can be really uncomfortable. Spend a lot of time, money, mostly heart. Saying goodbye hurts because cheering on the Chargers was a habit, a tradition fans enjoyed with their friends and family every fall, every Sunday for their entire lives. My whole life, 55 years. I think a lot of times people who have traditions with family, I mean, there's a lot of meaning associated with that. Stagey says stage five is acceptance, a phase many of us are far from. We'll get over this. And she also told me that the grieving process will take a different amount of time for each of us, but that there are triggers coming up, like the Super Bowl games, and then, of course, the start of next football season will be rough. But she actually recommends taking the drive to L.A. See if maybe it does make you feel better or take interest in another sport. Gulls games, they are super fun. I <laughs> highly recommend those. There's an opportunity here. Yeah. I love it. also want to let you know what Kristen is working on coming up at 5 o'clock. She is actually going through a very emotional interview with Philip Rivers. He doesn't want fans to forget about them. He wants them to go to games. So much more to come on this topic, 5 o'clock. So tune in, Ariel.